Okay, so this is about the struggles of wearing all black. And this just, you know, goes for anyone who wears all black, pretty much. So, yeah, first one is when your black shirt doesn't match your black pants, or, you know, I guess black skirt, whatever, anything, I guess. Any two different things that are black, and then they don't match, and it's just... What the fuck? <laughs> just, like, it's so annoying trying to match black clothes, because one might be faded black or one might be more of a bluish black or something reddish black or brownish kind of color and it, it's just the faded stuff and it's just kind of annoying <laughs> there's like so many different like dyes and stuff and you know not all things use the same dyes not all uh, p people who make black clothes use the same dyes, so it ends up being slightly different and it's kind of annoying. But yeah, anyways, next one is when you get hair or lint on your clothes and it shows up really well. I don't really get lint on my clothes, but I do get, like, you know, animal hair and whatever other hair and stuff on my clothes, so then it just ends up showing up really well. Like, I can just look at my arm right now and there's hair <laughs> on my sleeves, so, you know, it's kind of just... that sucks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next one is people telling you that you should wear more color, and it's kind of just like... Technically, black is the most color that you could ever get. White is the absence of color. Black is all colors together, so... I don't really get why you would need to tell me that I need more color when black is the most color that you could ever get. <laughs> white. If I was wearing all white, then that would make sense of, you know, you need to wear more color, because, like, you know, white is the absence of color, so then it would actually make sense. So, yeah, anyways. And the next one is, whose funeral is it? <laughs> People asking you if you're going to a funeral or something, and it's just like, it's gonna be your funeral if you don't shut the fuck up, so, <laughs> you know, go away. <laughs> Next one is people telling you it's not Halloween anymore, it's kind of like, I know it's not officially Halloween, but it's always Halloween to me anyways, so, you know, why the fuck do you care? <laughs> anyways, uh, next one is people always asking you if you're a witch or a vampire, or they try to be like, oh, you know that witches, vampires that don't exist, so why are you pretending to be one or something like that? And it's just like... I mean, witches do actually exist. There are real life witches, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that vampires don't exist. There are very few people that try to pretend to be vampires, but they're just edgy and trying to be cool and whatever and scary and it's kind of just like, you know. They're not the same, so <laughs> they can just not. Next one is that you end up matching the road at night and therefore almost getting hit by a car. <laughs> um, usually, you know, the roads are usually dark gray, black, and then at night they're even darker. Or if it recently rained and then they're darker, especially if it's nighttime and it rained and then it's just even more darker and then you end up blending in and people could end up running you over. So yeah, this mostly applies if to you if you were all black and then you live somewhere where there's a lot of cars going by regularly, so yeah, that one's kind of a spe more specific one. Anyways, next one is, are you depressed? <laughs> and it's just like, not everyone who wears all black is depressed, so no, go away. <laughs> next one is, do you harm self-harm? And I just, like, why would... You know, why would you need to ask someone this? This also kind of goes with, like, are you suicidal? Like, that could also kind of go with this, and it's just like... 
why are you asking someone this? Especially if you don't know them. Why would you ask them this? It's really, like, it's none of your business. Go away. Shut the fuck up. Uh, next one. And the last one is that you think something is black, but then it's actually navy blue or even dark gray. And it's just like, damn it. <laughs> like, I mean, like, getting close enough to black is always great, but it's also kind of just like, I would rather it be black. If I can find it in black, that'd be great. If not, I guess I will go with the darkest color I can find, but it's still kind of disappointing when you can't find it in black. So, yeah, anyways, that's kind of it for this video, I guess. I could do maybe a part two. I guess you could comment down below if there's any other things that I have missed, and maybe I'll make a part two, so yeah, anyways, I guess, bye!